between the lines in three, two, one, go. Sandstorm period starting out here. Qualifications match number 108. Red Alliance electing to load two pieces of cargo onto the far side of their cargo ship. Roboteers patch up one. Maybe gonna try and get the other. Can they get the double here? They do, 2481, showing everyone why they are in first place. Double autonomous, or double sandstorm, I should say, here on the far side of Planet Primus. They get it done and take the advantage 30 to 23. Team number 5404 makes the delivery into the cargo ship. They head back towards their loading station despite the defense from 6032, the pirate robotics team. They're playing the zone defense on the far side of the planet, waiting for a red robot to come in range. I'm gonna try and shut down this scoring now. Their alliance partners 2054 from Hopkins, Michigan, placing yet another hatch panel on the Blue Alliance rocket on the far side of the field. Four bays open now for the Blue Alliance, should they so choose to deliver cargo and the Tech Vikes now doing it all themselves on the far side of the field. Their alliance partners, Team 2826, currently ranked number three here on the field, trying to end on a strong note. They have a piece of cargo in their possession as they right themselves and head back towards their rocket, facing some defense now. Trying to get around the defense on the near side of the field, they decide to head to the far side of Planet Primus now with just 60 seconds left. Red with a commanding lead here, 57 to 32. Blue trying to bring it back despite the defense. The 2481 Roboteers get that piece of cargo placed inside. They head back to patch up the very top level of that Red Alliance rocket. Defense continues from the 6032 machine, no difference. Roboteers make it happen. This one will be the difficult one, trying to push past the rocket to get the hatch panel in place. They will have to recollect as it drops right at the feet of that rocket. 20 seconds left as we enter our end game period. Red still with a large lead, 70 to 45. Blue trying to bring it back with the climbs here. Tech Vikes looking for the ranking point if they can get it. This would help out Wave quite a bit in the rankings with another ranking point solidified. Here that goes, Blue Alliance with three, two, one. A solid match from both alliances. We'll see how the outcome was 91 to 72. Blue Alliance, despite the loss, does put up two ranking points, so they should feel pretty good about that. 28-26 does fall to fourth place. Red Alliance taking home three for the win and the half-time. 24-81.